Fujifilm 35mm Magic Lens F1.4 versus the cheapest plastic Samyang 45mm F1.8. Let's talk about my user experience regarding these two lenses, image quality, AF and overall results. Hi there, my name is uh, Tudor Matesco and in this video I want to compare two lenses, a full frame, very cheap full frame lens, Samyang 45mm f1.8 versus the magic lens from Fujifilm, the 35mm f1.4 lens. Why I compare a full frame lens to an APS-C lens? Well, because I had the chance to use them both and I was amazed with uh, the similar results that I've got from these two both lenses. And because I like small cameras with small lenses, I'm thinking that other users are liking small camera with small lenses and also are looking into a small full frame camera. So because now we have Sony A7C, a very small full frame camera with the 45 meters f1.8, we could have a very good small and quality package and this full frame package would be very competitive to an APS-C Fujifilm body. So let's talk uh, about that. The first thing that I want to address it is build quality. Well, this Fujifilm lens, it is made from metal, but the aperture ring, it is terrible as we all know that. It's moving very, very easily and this is it, what we can say. But it is metal, it is feeling well in the hand and it is very, very light. On the other hand, the Samyang 45mm f1.8 lens, it is very plasticky. This um, lens hood, it's very, very plasticky, it's, it's so thin, you, you are afraid that you will uh, crush it, that you will broke it. So a very plasticky lens indeed. So build quality, even if the 35mm f1.4, it isn't great, it's above the 45mm f1.4 but build quality it isn't sufficient for a lens to deliver good results so another key point it's regarding the af so this is where the things are getting very very interesting because the af of the samyang 45 meters f 1.8 it is extraordinary in video and in photo so with sony a7 r3 the camera that i'm using to film myself now I've got very, very good results. The IAF, it is working flawlessly. It's focusing very well and uh, very silently. So the AF of uh, the Samyang 45 meters F1.8, it is an amazing, an amazing focusing on a Sony camera. So no complaints here. But the Fujifilm, it has a clunky AF. The AF, it is pretty precise but uh, you will miss some shots with this 35mm f1.8 lens. So at this chapter Samyang 45mm f1.8 it is winning the game. The next thing that I want to address is regarding image quality. I feel that this Samyang it is better at image quality and maybe it is better because it is a full frame lens and that sensor from Sony it's helping the lens. So I get similar bokeh but more important I get the subject sharper than this 35mm f1.4 lens. So the bokeh it is similar, the field of view it is a little wider and the subject it is sharper so again i feel that this samyang plastic lens it is winning this game yes the image will be a little digital a little digital on this lens because of uh, the sharpness but it is good it's it's okay uh, i edit my raw files and i get very very good results and i have a preset 
that it is enabling me to obtain Fuji colors on my Sony camera, the Cobalt profiles. I've talked about these profiles in uh, the video regarding x 3D analog experience. Check that video link in the card. So, using Fujifilm colors on this lens, I get similar results with this 35 meters f1.4 lens. So, regarding image quality, this is good too. I can't say this is bad. So, regarding image quality, let's call them equally. Now, the next point is regarding the field of view. And uh, regarding the field of view, I uh, feel that uh, Samyang is winning this uh, game too because, because it's a 45mm field of view lens. It's a little bit wider. And this good angle it's helping me to use this lens in indoors in my house so it's very important when i'm using the 35 meters f1.4 indoor i feel this lens it is too long so the field of view of the samia 45 meters f1.8 lens it is more versatile for my style of shooting so i can get nice looking portraits at a almost 50 millimeters field of view I can use this lens indoor, outdoor, in low light and also in good light. So it is a more versatile lens. Conclusions. This 45mm plastic lens that when first I saw it, I said I will not buy it. I was looking at a Sigma 45mm f2.8 lens at that time. And I rejected this lens being so plasticky. But that Sigma was very soft at f2.8 and also it was an f2.8. And in the end I've said, okay, let me try this cheap plastic lens. And what I can say, it is amazing. It is an amazing lens. It is very light. It is lighter. I feel it is lighter in the hand. The results on a full frame 47 megapixel camera are amazing. And also having a Sony a7R 3 it's offering me the chance to enter the APS-C mode, so this lens will become a 60 plus field of view lens. So again, amazing, amazing chance to use and to get some good, good pictures. So this why this lens for me, it is an amazing lens. And regarding this game, I must give the win to Samyang 45 meters f1.8 lens. This lens is doing its job very, very well. So yes, if you can bypass the plasticky feeling and the very strong sharpness of this lens, you will obtain very, very good results. And how you can do that? Of course, by editing the RAW files. So, on my Sony camera, I can get Fujifilm colors using Cobalt profiles. And using this lens, I can get better, sharper, more biter images using this lens. So, I really, truly recommend this lens. So, if you are asking if you should enter the Fujifilm system or the Sony system, well, regarding this field of view, I believe Sony is winning the game. The fact that you have third-party lenses so good, so accessible as price, it is a big, big deal. I hope in the future to get a Sony A7C and have the experience of a small full-frame camera and have the chance to compare it to a Fujifilm camera. And yes, I don't like the Sony colors at all, but the Cobalt profiles saved the Sony system camera for me because using the Cobalt profiles I can get Fuji colors on my Sony files. So these are my ideas regarding these two lenses, the 35 meters from Fuji F1.4 Magic Lens and this plasticky Samyang. Before ending, please uh, subscribe uh, to my channel and please be sure to share my video with your friends. Check the links from the description and from the comments for more photography goodies where you can find the private POV where I shoot Fujifilm X100V and Fujifilm X-Pro3 to document a turbulent event. If you like this kind of videos, please tell me in the comments. Tell me if you used Samyang 45 meters f1.8 and what is your opinion about this too lenses and also be sure to check the image samples from my website where you can 
make a little comparison regarding these two lenses but again as a user that experienced both these two lenses and not just experienced these two lenses in the studio i feel that the samyang is doing a better job overall thank you for watching and talk to you soon bye bye